guys. Welcome back. Oh, Tosa saw what's happening. Casey back at it again on the Madden 20 video. One, 21. I still say Madden 20. Crazy. Anyway, today Ultimate Legends came out. Yay. And we got Steve Hutchinson. Yay. But I don't have him. Why? Simple. I'm going to be honest with you. For the most part, old linemen don't matter. And you must be wondering, you have 97 Brandon Scherf, team of the year. He must have costed you some coins. Why do you have him and you're saying linemen don't matter? Because he was free. Is my gnat. So you can see his gnat. Well, shoot, if I, put, I put abilities on him. He'd be gnat anyway. But my other two choices were linebackers. And, you know, I don't even use those either. But, you know, I've been telling people in the comments, uh, linemen don't matter. They ask, they used to ask me why I didn't upgrade my O-line. I used to run with, like, just a powered up with training, Walter Jones. Same thing with Mawai. I just bought the um, Legend and the 50 cards just recently just because I have the coins. I just thought, why not? It's cheap enough. Might as well do it. But uh, for Hutchinson's uh, sake, there's really no reason to do it. And um, I've never really got it into the data or... Um, why is like that what 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 you know because people are gonna say you know the ratings matter ratings don't matter in this game for the most part i think the only ratings that matter are speed change of direction maybe beat pull on um, beat, beat press uh for receivers but um for the most part they don't matter they're there for thresholds for abilities um and the abilities override any um attributes in this game so um first things first uh, when we talk about attributes, uh, what matters is your pass block finesse, pass block power, run block finesse, run block power. If they're over 85, that means they prevent super, was it super rush or was it like super wins, super wins. Meaning that um, the, the linemen just can't kill you if they're unabilityed. Now, if they have like double or nothing or inside stuff, that overwrites that and that gives them the upper hand regardless. Um, which right in a, in a way kind of sucks because linemen don't matter, but this card's good, right? And I think all of my linemen for the most part are good. Even Brandon Shell, even Brandon Shell, who's, um, an 84 overall, excuse me. Um, he has 88 pass, um, pass block power, but 82 finesse. So maybe if finesse rusher gets him, might be a little bit scary, but run block power, run block finesse, like. He doesn't hit the thresholds. And yet, even without hitting the thresholds, he doesn't kill me. You know? So, just imagine if he did hit the thresholds. He's the only lineman I'm considering replacing. Just so I could hit the thresholds and he could play an extra... Play the role of an extra lineman in, like, heavy packages. Um, Second thing. Second thing that you probably want linemen for is their abilities. Here we have Steve Hutchinson at his the 50 card, right? And, of course, he gets the fourth ability slot if you uh, get the ultimate legend. Look at this. You can get all the abilities, all of them, all of them, all of them. It don't matter. You can get all of them. I don't. I don't know about you guys. I don't use abilities on my linemen. Never have. Maybe identifier would be the only one that I'd consider using. But with the playmaker um, on Russell Wilson, it just it just kills my AP. So I only got like two guys I can throw on like extra routes. I got two apprentices, so it doesn't matter. Um, for the most part, right. Steve Hutchinson is not worth it. I'm not going to spend the coins. I, I don't spend money on this game. I got a million coins, sure. But um, the only thing that I'd consider or the only reason why I would consider getting Hutchinson is um, his new card is 70 base speed. Uh, this card is set on, um, was it 66 base speed with the power up? So it's 70 now. So that would make him um, 74 speed for screens. That might be helpful. Uh, but for the most part, I'm not going to spend 400k. With screens now linemen do matter in this case um apparently i found out uh there are weight matters if you hit a weight threshold and um you can find all this data on like reddit or mutt leaks on twitter uh but if they're at a certain weight they do better run blocking now with the theme team line you can't complain you use who you have i'm not constructing a line to run the ball better if i'm not going to put abilities on them and inside stuff's gonna kill me is no reason to. So there's that. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I make videos for cards that are related to the Seahawks, so Seahawks players, or even like I did with JD McKissick, and you know, whatever. I do that for them, and then cards I'll need to get on day one because I love the player or the card is just that good. 
those are the two types of videos I make when it comes to gameplay wise. Hutchinson falls under a Seahawk player, but it doesn't matter to me at least. Um, so yeah, there's that lineman. It, it sucks, right? Old lineman, you know, you need them. So that's why, like I said, I chose Brandon Sheriff, right? If if I'm gonna if all three of them are pretty much useless to me, I'm gonna choose the one who's gonna be on the field the most and Brandon Sheriff's the guy on the field the most. So that's why I have him. Hutchinson, it's not worth paying for. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we get a new Seahawk soon. I hope. Uh, but enjoy your day, enjoy your week. Little quick one for y'all. Just explaining some things. Peace. Have a good day.